Hi, my name is Chase Harnett, and I'm the founder of the Hudson Oven, a small cottage industry bakery here in the Hudson Valley, specifically in the river towns of the Hudson Valley. And I just wanted to give you a quick overview of our stone collection for the pedestal that we're going to be building our clay oven on top of. Uh, now, as I said before, you're, you know, the chain is only as strong as the weakest link, so we want to be sure that the foundation is nice and sturdy, hence all these really large stones that we've been collecting. Um, the ones that are currently on the ground already were actually purchased. Uh, it's called Pennsylvania Field Stone. Uh, it's sort of pricey as far as uh, you know, stones or rocks go. Um, so, you know, ideally, if you're resourceful enough, you can sort of ask around, find friends or family or whoever might uh, have a pile of stone in their yard. Anyway, so we're going for, I mean, one, one pallet full of Pennsylvania field stone is about three tons. I'm trying to double that or even triple that um, just to have a nice solid stone base that's nice and tall. So, you know, a taller baker doesn't have to bend over too much and, you know, a shorter baker can still reach in. Uh, so what we did is we found our field stone a lot more than we needed and we built meticulously, slowly, meticulously, choosing the right rocks and right stones to build a freestanding ring. Um, freestanding meaning there's nothing holding it together except for the weight of the stones themselves and the way that you overlap them in the proper way. Once we had a freestanding structure, we were able to come in, uh, in in back of the actual wall itself and throw in some modern materials um, like masonry mortar to really sure it up and make sure that it doesn't tip over over time or, or that any stone pieces don't fall out. Um, so after we were pretty sure that it's not going anywhere, we uh, then took our extra field stone and we, we piled them into the core of the stone wall that we had built and just filled up our space. And then on top of that, we were able to level the surface using a little bit more masonry mortar and now we have a nice uh, basically bird bath if you will that we can pour insulation material into so the idea with a bread oven is that you want this thing to absorb and retain heat and then radiate it back into the bake cavity uh, not into the atmosphere or into the pedestal that it's built on so our next step like I said is going to be taking a series of, of different uh, high insulation value materials. So what we're going to do is first dump in that loose uh, perlite material and then on top of that we're going to lay a nice bed of calcium phosphate brick and then we can start adding our fire brick which has the ability to absorb and retain heat as long as it's not connected to other large masses like our stone pedestal. So more on that later. I uh, just wanted to show you our nice solid stone pedestal that we've that we've built um, and the next steps like I said are adding insulation material and then we can start building our hearth and getting a dome shape using our clay bricks that we built from the Hudson River. Um, Alright more on that to come this is Chase Harnett at the Hudson Oven signing off I'll see you next time. Cheers.